In the new version 2.7 the user can configure his representation view of the article parts properties. It is now possible to select and view many more properties. Go to a page and click right on a device to open the context menu. Click on properties. The property dialog comes up. Change your view to the parts tab. In this tab you can see the linked parts and their properties. If you want to see the last modification date of this part, you have to scroll down on the right. In version 2.7 it is possible to configure the representation on the left of this dialog. In the further steps I will show you how to display the ERP number and the last modification date at the left table. Move the mouse to the left side and click right. Click on configure representation. The scheme dialog comes up. As you can see the default scheme is set. Create a new scheme by copying the default scheme, click on the cloned papers. Name the scheme and add a description. Confirm the dialog by clicking OK. To add a new property in the representation click on the lower yellow sun. With the new version 2.7 you don't have to look up the whole list of properties to find the one you're looking for. Use the new search bar. To make the search bar work, click on the category your properties are part of. The ERP number and the modification date are part of the parts data. Search the properties. The property is found by the search. Select it by clicking. Confirm the selection with OK. The ERP number is added to the representation. Repeat the process to add the modification date. Save the changes. Confirm with OK. ePlan will then change the representation of the left table. ePlan changed the representation of the left side view. The ERP number and the last modification date are displayed. As you can see, the modification date is not available at the right side anymore. If you add a property to the view on the left, ePlan will move it from the right to the left and won't display it at the right side anymore. To see another new enhancement from version 2.7 we will change the linked part. Click on the three dots. Select another part from the list. Confirm your selection with OK. Version 2.7 brings up a re-engineered conflict dialog because the new part has other function and part properties. The re-engineered dialog is more clearly and allows you to see the differences at a glance.